applesauce or foundation, who really knows? So today it is day 13 of 15 days of foundation. This is where I try out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. We've already done 12 days. Those are linked down below in the season five playlist, but I also have four other seasons of 15 days of foundation. If you're new here today, we have a foundation in a bag. As soon as I saw this, I got so excited, so curious. So I have videos trying foundation in a ball, foundation in a jar, and today we're trying foundation in a bag. I don't think this is new. I've just literally never heard anything about this or even seen this. This is the Cargo Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. That's literally all it's called. Dude, Cargo, I feel like you guys could have killed it with a name for this one. I just think this is such a cool concept. It's actually made of 100% recyclable material, which is really cool. It's easy to travel with. It's super lightweight. It's thin. I just love the whole idea of this. I mean, this thing feels like a feather. I feel like this is something I could see like milk makeup doing or something. So looking on Ulta's website, this retails for $36. You get 1.33 ounces of product. So even though this looks like a tiny little baby food packet, you actually get quite a bit of product in here. So it says it's an ultra hydrating foundation with medium to full coverage and a silky finish. Suitable for all skin types, says it's blendable, lightweight, and then it says it's sheer coverage that can be built up. Part of the description says sheer coverage. The other part says medium to full coverage. It says it's supposed to be ideal for oily skin types while innovative skin conditioners hydrate dry skin types without adding oil. I have more dry skin right now. I have the shade F20. The lightest shade is F10, which says soft ivory, very fair with warm undertones. F20 said very fair with peach undertones. So that's why I went with F20 because of the undertones. F10 looked very yellow. You guys will see the shade fiasco in the demo part of this video, but there are only eight shades in this foundation. I'm gonna insert swatches right here so you can see how the shade F20 compares to some of my other foundations. So swatches right here is the Cargo Foundation in F20. Next over is Milk Makeup Blur Liquid in Fair, CYO Life Proof in 101, NARS Radiant Foundation in Mont Blanc, Dermacol 208, and Marc Jacobs Remarkable in 10. If you've been enjoying 15 Days of Foundation and you're excited for this final last few videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. Daily reminder to vote, to vote, don't forget to vote. Vote one time a day at the link down below. If you wanna see my thoughts on this cargo foundation in a bag, how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place, just keep watching. I'm so curious, here we go. Feels like day 13. So I've washed, moisturized, prepped my skin in the bag in a box looking a little dark in this bag just through here but maybe it looks different this is so cool i actually love this packaging even if you just wanted to throw this in your purse as like a touch-up or something you have no bottle it's super lightweight i'm just gonna shake it in here i guess to mix it or maybe kind of do a little of this action i feel like i'm about to eat one of those applesauce things cool okay easy oh shit that actually just fell on my shirt. <laughs> I was trying to get a thumbnail. Sweet. Guess we're not wearing this shirt today. Gonna go change this shirt. BRB. Shirt change. Instead, I've got on my Don't Talk To Me As 15 Days of Foundation t-shirt. Link down below. We're trying to raise $20,000 for Project Beauty Share. This design was one of the limited edition ones that was brought back. All right, we're back in action. Gonna attempt not to spill on this shirt. So I'm gonna start out with a brush. I just wanna keep squeezing stuff out of here. The shade on the palette is looking dark. Yeah. Probably should have gone with the lighter shade in this one. Yeah, way dark. <laughs> Looking at my neck. My face is a lot darker than my neck, so whenever I put on a foundation, I match it to my neck shade. Uh-oh, this one is, like, real dark. Mm, this is, like, dark where it's not really wearable dark. Shit, these I actually wanted to leave my cave today. It's sitting on my skin really nicely, though. I'm feeling cabin fever. This usually happens throughout this series. Ooh, I'm looking orange. Real orange. Dang, man. 
I don't even think it's showing up on camera, but I look like Oompa Loompa status right now. Uh, I'm debating white mixer, non white mixer. Maybe I'll go on Snapchat. Okay, I just posted a poll on Twitter. I'm gonna turn off the camera for like 15 minutes, leave the poll open and see what you guys say. If the majority of you are fine with me mixing in a white mixer, then I'm gonna do that because guys, I, I really feel like I need to get out of the house. Like I look like a Clementine right now. I'll be back. So far with the brush, it's sitting really nicely on my skin. I like the finish of it. So we'll see what you guys have to say. All right, I washed off my face because Twitter has spoken. The survey's been up for 17 minutes. There are 392 votes. I'm gonna screenshot this so I can show it to you guys. And it's a pretty freaking close call. We've got 44% of you are saying, no, don't leave your house. 56% are saying, yes, lighten it with mixer. So uh, yeah, we're gonna lighten this thing. Thank God. Thank you to those of you who don't want me cooped up here all day. So I looked on the ingredients on the back of the box here trying to figure out if it's water-based or silicone-based. It looks silicone-based to me. There's a lot of cones in there, dimethicone. So I think we can go with the silicone-based mixer. So the two I'm debating between are the LA Girl Pro Coverage or the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer. This one is pretty dewy. This one is more neutral, but it doesn't lighten as well. I think I'm gonna go in with this one just so it doesn't alter the finish as much. And at least you guys have seen what it looks like on that one layer without it. All right, shade is looking a lot closer. There we go. Round two. I'm glad I do know what that first layer looks like though without one, just so I can compare it to that too. This seems to set down pretty quickly, but it still feels really kind of gel-like and moisturizing, but you can for sure feel it drying down. Okay, now we're in the game here, folks. Still looking really nice on the skin. So far, I would say it looks pretty much exactly the same as far as finish and everything, so that's a good sign. I'm for sure gonna have to smooth this out right here because it's not looking the best with the brush right on the center. Let's try a sponge on the side. Getting out of the way. Ugh. That is not looking good with a sponge. Sheer coverage with the sponge. I feel like that just soaked up a lot of that. Definitely prefer the brush side better right now. I'm gonna try and build this up with the brush. It says you're supposed to be able to get medium to full coverage. Yeah, brush is the way to go with this one. It feels like it's setting down, which I really like. Second layer with the brush, I'm getting about high medium coverage, but it's definitely building. There are certain areas where it's not sitting the best, like around my nose it looks a little bit heavy. My pores are out to party right now. I can just kind of like see it chilling. It's looking a lot better on camera, I think, than it does in real life. I'm gonna show you guys in natural lighting once I do the rest of my makeup. It doesn't look bad right now, but I'm not totally wowed. I'm gonna give it a few minutes, see if I don't have to powder it, and do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's now 10.24, we're gonna call a check-in time, 10 o'clock. I powdered my face around like 10.02. So it felt like it wasn't sliding around, like it did feel like a gel that was kind of setting down, but it still had a major stick to it, so I did have to powder my face, I used my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and I actually powdered my full face, my forehead too, because it just was looking a little bit funky. It looked like it needed a powder to just kind of smooth even everything out. And now that the powder's on, I think it looks nice. I think next time if I were to lighten it, I would probably mix in the LA Girl Pro coverage just because this gives you much more of like a dewy, smoothing kind of look. This one, I do think, like I said, would alter it more than this one. So for the sake of the review, I'm glad I went with the NYX one, but just knowing how this one sits on my skin now, I probably would mix in this one next time. And depending on how that would look, I think I still would powder my face, but I'm gonna try out a bunch of different combos like usual and I'll update you guys in the wrap up video. That's where I rank all the foundations, try them in different ways. That goes up April 9th. And in that video, I also announced the winning city and the shelter that's winning $5,000. So that's where you guys can vote one time a day down below. The link is right at the top of the description box, but everything is going to be wrapped up announced how much we raised everything is coming in that video but i'm gonna show you guys what this looks like in natural lighting and we'll do a flash test okay we're in natural lighting right now looks good actually looks better out here than it does under the studio lights so let me zoom in looks makeup -y, but there's nothing specifically that doesn't look good right now so let's do a flash test keep in mind i have the laura geller powder on right now that was the wall done this for 13 days in a row so far and i still can't get this down oh looks pretty good with flash Actually it looks really nice and soft and it, there doesn't seem to be too much of a bounce back. I actually don't mind how it looks in flash at all. 
So the makeup I used on the rest of my face for eyeshadow, I used the Wet n Wild palette in Rose in the Air. I just used these two shades and then the shade to line my lower lash line. For blush and bronzer, all I used was the Milani blush in Rosa Romantica. And this is kind of like a warm peachy bronze. I feel like this is gonna be super, ooh, whoops, super pretty shade for the summer. It gives you that like bronzy but not too warm kind of glow. Really like this one so far. For highlight, use one of my favorites, the Goddess of Love highlight by Makeup Revolution. I think they repackaged this. I haven't tried the new version. I hope the formula is the same, but this one is amazeballs. For lips, I use this Urban Decay lipstick. This is abstract and it's like a cool toned nude. And then I topped it off with, this is like the day of white mixers. This is the Bite Beauty Blanc. This is really cool. It's just a white lipstick. Right now it has nude on the end, but it's just a white lipstick, so you can adjust the color of any of your lipsticks. So I just put a little bit of that on the center. Check-in time is 10 o'clock. I'll see you guys in a few hours in natural lighting. Okay, it's now 3, 3, 33. So it's been on for about five and a half hours. I am having one of those days where I'm like so restless. I don't know what's going on. I want to like go on a run or something right now. Overall, I think same thing. It still looks a little bit heavy, a little bit makeup-y, but I was on Snapchat a little bit and it looked really good on that camera very like smooth and glowy looking it is separating a little bit on my forehead and it is creasing a tiny bit around my mouth area as per usual actually i'm getting some creasing on my upper lip too which i haven't been getting the last few days but so far so good i'm going to edit video number two and then get out of the house again it's 8 24 so it's been on for over 10 hours i went on such a nice long walk made good food feeling good it was super sunny so i did have on sunglasses so that's what those lines are right there if anyone has any tips on how to not get sunglass lines let a girl know because i've never found anything that works to not get the sunglass lines overall it looks a bit dry and i can just see it on my face it's separating a little bit right on the center there's nothing horrible or shocking or out of the normal here it just doesn't look the best on my skin so i'm gonna try mixing this one i'm not like totally ruling it out i just don't feel like i found a way that i like to wear this one yet i really like the concept of it i want to make this one work because i just think it would be really handy and easy to travel with even as a mixer if i like it mixing it with other foundations that would be great so i'm going to try a bunch of different combos with this one i do take notes every single time i test out one of the foundations with different combos and things just so i can remember exactly what i used and tell you guys in the wrap-up video so i'm going to try this a bunch of different ways and you guys will be hearing my thoughts on april 9th so if you've been enjoying this series don't forget to give this video a thumbs up two days left so i'll see you guys tomorrow in day 14. i love you guys there's a special place in my heart for everyone who voted for a white foundation mixer <laughs> thank you love you guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye